I was hoping to have Big Daddy here because I, I felt like this was a good round table discussion to end up with. Okay. So, but uh, let's roll it. And we can always bring him into the fold if he shows up. Could be something bad. They live down the road. I'm like, what if they need me for something? It's never important. But this one kind of was. So I picked up and they were like, we're in a fight. And here's why. My sister's husband asked her what would happen if he got bit by a zombie. And when she came home, he was turned. And she said that she would go next door and get the neighbor to put him down. This kind of feels like the like, would you love me if I was a worm question? Because he said that if she had asked him the same question, if she had turned into a zombie, he would have kept her chained in the basement and would have prayed and waited on a cure. And even more so, he would have gone next door and gotten the neighbor too, but he would have gotten him as food for her so that she would stay fed. So I called my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what would you do if I turned into a zombie? And he, without hesitation, two seconds, literally goes, I would absolutely smoke you. <laughs> I think that's, I mean, you, you, you come home, there's a zombie virus. You come home, your loved one's been bitten. Gotta go. So that's your answer. She, you're, but you're going to want to, you're going to be the one to do it. Might as well be. I mean, I, I, I feel. I and mean, we all saw would yell her, right? That's a, that's kind of the point. Pete, what are you know you come now yeah. there's a there's a little bit of a you know there's a little bit less of, of a of a love aspect but if you came home and your roommate had turned what what do you do you just well, close the door and fucking drive away you go to your neighbor or do you you know you try to put her down i, I feel like I, I i i would just leave I feel like I would have to, I, I wouldn't, I, you know, let them come to their own demise. You know, like, I, they're already gone at that point. Yeah, I, I feel, I, I feel the same way. Big Daddy just showed up. Oh. So. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll run this again so that he can join the. Hear us, Stanley? Uh, no, no, I got it. So my thing is women have a habit of asking these bullshit questions while <laughs> running their fingers in your chest hair after <laughs> sex. And if I was a zombie, here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> if you're a zombie and you're about to kill me, the only way I'm keeping you alive is if, if that pussy is not zombified. Or if zombie pussy is that good. Or zombie pussies that good? Maybe we. There was there was a movie, dude. There was this movie, and one of the side plots was that this dude. I forget what movie it was fucking called. It wasn't <laughs> like a, I watch a lot of zombie. I watched a lot of zombie movies before. They got I, I may have watch. seen it. Well, what do you got? Well, he was she. She was like kept in a stable. She was a zombie. She was like handcuffed in a stable, like splayed out, so that this dude could just go fuck her when he wanted to. Like he Can't didn't say show I've seen that one. He didn't show like it wasn't like he discovered it and we're supposed to be shocked and horror. It wasn't like a porno, you know, maybe just, zombie pussy is real good. And in, in, in I that can't case, imagine it would make it smell better. But by the way, I think that's the name of your first comedy special. Uh, Big Daddy, maybe zombie pussy is that good because <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit swollen, you know, once the uh, pus starts to develop. Uh, uh, yeah, but otherwise, no, nah, fuck no, nah. no. Nah, makes me think bullying. you could just listen to Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper did a, several songs about fucking dead people. I just want to crack open a cold one. Yeah, a cold Ethel was one of them. Because you, I love you the can't dead. cure, you can't cure death and decay. Correct. Right, but I think the the theory is is that it's a disease. You know, you know, no. In order to get close enough to one, you'd have to know that there's no heart beating, that there's no, you know what I mean. You, you as a human being, you're gonna hope that there's some kind of, but nothing kills. Nothing will kill you more than hope. That's you true. I mean, as a as a medical professional, when it's dead, it's dead. I understand that, but what's dead doesn't get up and walk. So you you know you might. There are people out there who are gonna not believe. 
you know, what's right in front of their eyes. And there's a series there. on right now. No, with a let's take it, who's, a, who's a zombie. Let's take it. Let's take it to a different level. I don't know if you guys ever saw. I think it's called Quarantine. Where I, it's have not, it, but I haven't seen it. So it's it's kind of a zombie movie, but it's just this advanced form of rabies. Right. Okay. So these people are alive. They're just mindlessly attacking and eating people. Right. So this person is a living thing. Now, you know, it's this wild strain of rabies. We can't cure. We can cure rabies if we get to it quick. But when, by the time they're showing this type of aggression. Right. I, you know, they might there might be the belief that there is, you know, life inside there. And then what do you do? You kill her to make it easier, your easier life on you. If I can chain it and fuck it, 